What's up, y'all? Bricks from Bricks Fitness. It is now Monday morning, and I have decided to take a deload a deload week for a few reasons. I've been going really hard in the gym over the last few months, hitting the weights real hard, and I haven't given my body a break. I need to give my body a break from the from the weights, and this week is a good week to do it because I'm traveling this week. Um, Cami and I are going to Utah. And uh, it just makes sense. So I'm going, I'm going to do a D-Lo week, no weights at all this week. But traveling this week is, is going to be very nutritionally intense. Let's just say that. Um, my, my family, we're, we're going to be meeting some family out there. And they love to eat. So what I've decided to do, so I won't, you know, lose control, I'm going to set... A weekly mile goal right so my goal is to do 30 miles this week never in my life I've, I've had 30 mile months <laughs> I'm not really a runner like that I've had 30 mile uh, months but I've never done 30 miles in a week not even close I think probably the most I've ever done in a week is probably about 10 or 12 so 30 miles this week is my goal I'm setting this goal right now in front of you guys to hold myself accountable. It's now Monday. So between today and Sunday, seven days, I am going to run 30 miles. And I'm going to report to you guys every single day, whether it's through a vlog or through Instagram, my progress with this. So wish me luck. 30 miles this week. And uh, let me get to it. So I just came back from my run. Oh, I just got out the shower, but it felt good. It felt good, man. Like I know I'm a very numbers-driven person, so just having that self-awareness, having that, just knowing myself in that capacity, gives myself leverage. Allows me to put myself in position so that I can not stray away from my goals, but also not stress myself out trying to will myself towards things that probably that probably won't make sense i'll find a better way to to uh deliver that message in, an, in another vlog but anyway um i'm in a good space right now like there's some things that i want to talk to you guys about right now but i can't yet i want to i want to sit on it a little bit more i want to pray on it a little bit more before i share with with you the, the developments let's just call them developments that i've been having in my life um but i'm excited I'm, I'm excited about the, the the future. I'm excited about continuing to be used as a vessel. I feel like I'm being used as a vessel to give you guys a message, give you guys hope, let you guys know that it's possible. And I'm not going to get all preachy, but anything is possible when you put your mind to it, when you put your grind to it. Um, I've overcome a lot of things, and I'm still fighting a lot of things you know mentally i'm fighting a lot of things you know scenarios in my life that that are really putting pressure on me to become better and it, that are really sharpening me so i just want to thank you guys for the opportunity and for the platform to be able to share my gift and to be able to to be used by by god and by the universe so all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this little sappy spiel right now. Bye. All right, so look, what I normally do when I don't have enough footage for to complete a whole vlog, I'll do a Q and A. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be asking questions live on Instagram. So this is gonna be posted to tomorrow's vlog, and I'm gonna get all the questions right here from everybody on Instagram. Do you use a Fitbit or any other fitness bands? I have not. Um, ever used a Fitbit but I do want to try one and I get this question all right a lot <laughs> all right um the Josh Rice show asks how did you stay disciplined um, as far as your diet when you first started it was just important to me it was it was important to me um, at the end of the day you have a choice whether you are going to adhere to your diet and I hate that term diet but if you're going to adhere to the eating style that is required for you to, to reach your goals or you're not 
for me, it was just that important that I didn't, I, like, I didn't succumb to, I mean, I did sometimes. I did, I did uh, fall to the temptations, but for the most part, it was that important to me to stay focused. And when, you, when your goals are that important to you, you do what you got to do. So let's health ask, do you have a protein shake every day? Do you typically have it after a workout? Or, ha or how soon after. Um, I typically, I honestly don't even drink protein shakes that much. I do, however, take protein uh, supplement, but I, I normally put it in my in my oatmeal. Um, the, the whole concept behind protein and, and any supplement is to supplement the protein intake in your diet. So if you're getting enough protein from whole foods, which is preferable you want to you want to get more the most of your protein from 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 fish from chicken from eggs if you're getting all the protein you need from foods then you don't need then you don't need protein shakes or any kind of protein supplement but um post workout is a there's a lot of science that says oh you need to have your protein shake right after you it really honestly it doesn't it doesn't matter and that's just my opinion. I don't think it matters. If you can hold off as long as possible after your workout, you kind of extend the, uh, the, the metabolic effect of your workout. So you'll burn more fat if you extend the time you know, after your workout. So let's say you finish working out at two, the longer you wait to drink your shake or to have your post-workout meal, the more fat you will burn. And that's just that. Again, this is just my opinion. Amazing. One asks, how do you incorporate your family to your fitness lifestyle? Not just for you, but anybody. Um, you have to create a culture. I, I, like I, I take pride in creating an active, healthy lifestyle type culture in my household. And it's kind of, it's, <laughs> this is an interesting question because my, my kids have two homes. Like they, they have their home with their mom and their stepdad and then they have their home with with Kimmy and I and it's we kind of live different lifestyles but they know when they come to daddy's we do active things we go for walks we go on hikes we play basketball we go swimming and we eat healthy foods I mean don't get me wrong I don't deprive my kids if they want to have McDonald's once in a while I'll give it to them but it's more about the culture if you create a culture of, of health and, and being active, then the head, of, the head of the household, it starts with the head of that household. So the head of the household is responsible for creating that culture. My name is Johnny X. Uh, what's your daily vitamin slash minerals that you take, if any? Um, the only thing I take, to be honest, is fish oil and multivitamins. And I supplement with protein powder. But that's pretty much the only supplements that I take. iFitnessX asks, how do you start out at the gym? And I get, I get asked this question a lot. And the best way to start when, we come, when we're talking about weightlifting is to master your compound movements. Um, just Google what count, compound movements are and master those first. I would start with light to medium weight and focus on burning the form into your to your nervous system you want to master the form before you start adding a bunch of weight and you you kind of want to balance uh resistance training which is weights and cardio so you don't want to just do cardio you don't want to do just weights you want to do a little bit of both in the beginning so balance is key all right so black man underscore working acts um can i achieve fitness with only body weight workouts absolutely 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 you don't need a gym membership to maintain a fit healthy body all you need is your body to uh to exercise and some of the best workouts that i've ever gotten were strictly body weight exercises maybe with maybe with some resistance bands if you have, if you have resistance bands and some dumbbells you're set all right so um chris taylor 627 asks how to make leg day fun I swear to God, when you find out, whoever knows the answer to this question, please let me know because I, to this day, despise leg day. But what I've kind of done 
is I have this thing where I like to mentally reframe things. So when I don't enjoy something, I always associate not enjoying it with progress. So now it's like, all right, I don't like doing this. This makes me better. This is going to make me stronger. So just making that mental switch, it, it helps it helps it helps get me through those leg workouts. It gets it helps get me to the gym in the first place to start the leg workout. So I kind of just you know trick myself. Proud father of three acts. Do you circuit train multiple times a week or just one workout? Me personally, I only do circuit training once, maybe twice a week. But if that's that's because I'm only trying to maintain right now. I'm not really trying to lean out. But if I if I was trying to get six pack abs, like when Kimmy was training me for my show, we did circuit style training pr pretty much five days a week. So it all depends on your particular goals. All right, black man underscore working acts. Any tips on how to keep going when results are slow? Here's the thing. Um, Weight loss is not a linear process. That's something that I say a lot. Um, results, you want the results to be slow because anything that happens too fast normally isn't good and that can be applied to anything in life. So you want the results to be slow as long as they are, you are getting any sort of results. That's, that's, that's what you want. Slow, result, slow results is a good thing when it, when it comes to fitness. And just understand that sometimes the, the results quote unquote results because a lot of the times we look at results as the wrong thing. Like the, the number on the scale going down is what most people look at as results. But we ignore when our energy levels are, are increased, when we're sleeping better, when we're feeling better, when our skin is clearer, when you know we just feel better. The, people forget about those results. Those are the real results. And th you get those results really quick. And those results c constantly improve as you continue to be consistent with working out and you're consistent with with uh, staying on top of your nutrition but the, the the term results that most people are referencing is the is the scale and those if you count on the, on the scale if you measure your success by the scale then you're setting yourself up for failure in the beginning so get rid of the, the whole uh, scale watching it's not about that and and, and that's another point it goes back to why you're doing this. If you're doing this simply for, 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 for reasons that you can see in the mirror, that's not going to be enough to, 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 to sustain this. So make sure you understand why and make sure the reasons why you're doing this is something that's going to push you long enough to make it a lifestyle. All right, so CJ81 asks, is there anything you miss from when you were a larger guy? <laughs> Is there anything I miss? Um, I just miss just being able to eat whatever I want and not care, I guess. I miss that. But then again, I don't miss that. So, to answer your question, is there anything I miss? No, Netflix? Nah, not really. So, C Rock. 54321 asks, when is the best time to eat carbs? The best time to eat carbs is pre and post workout. That's when your body uses them the most efficiently. The most efficiently. Bhawk 1914 asks, how important is it having your significant other train with you consistently? For me, there's no other way. Your significant other plays such an important role in in your lifestyle, in your habits, in in every area of your life. So if fitness is not the nucleus that kind of like bonds you guys, and it doesn't have to be that way. I'm just speaking for myself because fitness is such a big part of my life that it would be impossible for me to not um, be with someone who works out consistently. But just in, in general, um, fitness should be a culture in your, in your household. And... You guys don't have to work out together. It helps bonding. But as long as both of you guys work out and you are nutritionally and fitness conscious, it definitely helps um, when it comes to you achieving your personal goals. <laughs> that was kind of intense. People ask some real intense questions sometimes. I'm going to end the vlog right here. It's time for me to eat. 
I'm starving. This light is giving me a headache. Shout out to the Brick Squad. And I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys as always. So get well and get that.